if you want to watch the rest of the reading, you can click more or go to the comments and you can see it says extended. Click there and you can watch the remaining part of the reading. Okay, Taurus, so let's see what you guys have. I have your chart here. Um, let's see, and then we're going to do the Tarot. Okay, very interesting time for the Taurinians um, because the full moon is going to happen in your zodiac. Mars is there. Mars and moon, they're not good together, but this is a Chandra Mangal Yoga. It's good for like, um, like wealth, wealth giving, but relationship is challenged. Excuse me. So money-wise, let's get it. Taurus, yes. Okay. Um, manifest during that time. Uh, I, I was going to recommend to manifest relationship, but this is relationship one um, that I have. Um, I just I put it in the description. But <laughs> I need to create the wealth one for you. Because right, wealth one, full moon is going to be good. All right. Um, now, we had a previous reading also where you miss them, you want them. I see that here still. It's consistent. Especially the moon is going to go to your first house, which only means that emotional ties may uh, arise. Remember, Mars is retrograde, which means it's closer to the planet Earth. And then moon. So, you know, moon is exalted though in uh, Taurus. It's going to go to Kritika, which is ex exaltation nakshatra. But you are the ex exaltation um, sign. Which only means that the moon can give 100. And that's why we want it there. Okay? Health-wise, it's going to be good. There's something that you're going to be uh, manifesting um, with regards to health that you're going to be amazing. So that's good. It's You know, Mars here is giving you energy. You just need to direct this energy to working out, exercise. You know, it will aspect also, um, uh, how to say this, the fourth house from Taurus. And it's going to aspect the eighth Okay, four, eight, and I believe those are and seven, of, seven, of course. So what you need to understand is like there may be some friction with your mom or home. So that's something that you need to kind of like work on. Sun is still going to be in Scorpio. It's 19 degrees. Um, one degree, one day basically for the sun. So it takes like a 30-day um, cycle um, for each zodiac. So if it's 19, then, you know, like there's probably like 10, uh, 11 more days, right? Um, where your relationship is the highlight, you know? You're looking into it. Now, when the sun is in the seventh, it loses its strength because the, uh, this is like directional strength, we call it, um, because this is the this is where the sun sets, but the sun is there right now in your chart. So it's losing its power, but you're gaining power, you see. Um, so from what I'm saying, what I'm seeing here is like this connection can uh, manifest, yes, but you got to look at it right now, um, like, focusing on focus on then you have venus uh, finally left okay um venus zero degree so you could have received a gift from a person um or your partner normally venus would give now it's not about just partner like you could someone has definitely give you a memento okay a gift you should have received a gift in you know in the past day okay um let me see what else is here okay let me see the tarot first okay chart is still here Take advantage of the $50 chart in the description box below. Queen of Wands. King of Wands. Miss oh, are you guys together now? But this is our side though. Taurus, this is a strong desire coming on your end. Okay. Now, the King and Queen of Wands are like, meant to be. That's for sure. Like This is a magnetic attraction between the two of you. You feel it. You know it. You want it. You know, I don't sense that you're missing them. I sense here like you guys are getting closer and closer together. Um, having the king and queen of wands is confidence of your yin and yang also. You could be a person right now who's doing mastering of oneself energetic. That's good. That's good if you're doing that. Okay. Knight of Cups, a celebration. <clears throat> it feels like you're excited for something. Oh, you know what? If you guys are a pair like this, if you feel that, okay, highly suggest get this. It's in the comments, also in the description. Get it. Okay. I have it in my living room. Okay. And I do it myself. Mm, okay. Um, King and Queen of Wands. Um, a pair, you're happy, you found the one. I feel like there could be some interaction then between the two of you. Mm, passionate. For others, if you are in a healthy relationship, you were intimate with your person recently. Venus in the eighth house. All right. Oh, I'm getting, okay, I'm going to get a four. This is interesting. From your person. Let's see here. Um, they don't know what to do right now. They want you big time. Like 
your person desires you big time, but they are not sure on other things factor wise that is affecting their relationship. Because this is them taking a leap of faith. It's like, all right, you know what? I'm down. Like, I'm down with the Torinian here, King and Queen of Wands. It's like, and you're so happy. You're going to receive this message. Remember, I focus on the future, guys, which only means that you haven't, you know, this person hasn't interacted with you. So keep in the details, write it down. Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. Now, here's the situation with your person. Your person has the issue communicating with you. It always strikes us if like they don't want you and ignores your six of swords. But from what I'm seeing here with the ten of pentacles, like uh, they do value you strongly. Okay. Um, let me get you another card because they got four and then you'll get four also. Okay. Page of swords. You're a <laughs> you're a stalker, <laughs> Taurus, or you're a, someone's like oh when you talk oh, I find I listen I understand. Page of Swords is a research person, so you may be researching something with your person or you're just finding out something. Now, your person can be uh, distant from you right now, but I feel like they have this Ten of Pentacles with you, which is good. You know, that's a card of like, like that's a long-term partnership. That's very, very strong. Okay. A lot of people are getting coupled actually. It's interesting. Majority of the reads that I that I do right now is like people are coming together. It's coupling, a cuffing season, right? You have a King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Oh, a big turnaround, Taurus. A big turnaround in your romantic connection. This is like the unexpected. Mm -hmm. This is good news. This is positive news. This is a connection that you have been eyeing for for a while. Look at the moon over there. And I keep telling you about it, right? So you may be breaking down walls and barriers in this relationship. And then now finally like everything is manifesting for you. Let me get one more. Ace of Swords, you found your true love. That's good. And you're, you're, you want to communicate to them right now. You want to express these feelings. Ace of Swords, this is like someone that you felt you feel destined. The sword's going down. It's already made a decision, which only means that you are already going to take action. You probably have called or texted them already and expressed, you know, like this love of yours. Okay. This is wonderful for you. Okay. Nine of Cups, they're wishing. Mm -hmm. Strength card. Oh, oh, they're wishing that you would understand them. I know what's wrong with your person. They love you, but they run away. They love you, but they make it complicated. They care about you and they need this, you know, like you in their life. But they have so much excuses. It's like, I can't. Yeah. You have Nine of Cups, Strength Card, and the Five of Wands. So this is this person making a whole lot of excuses. There's a reason why you guys are not together, even though they're so excited and ecstatic to see you every time. That's a Nine of Cups of Celebration. So your person is refusing, well, not like running or refusing, but ignoring can be. But again, with the full card, there's a lot of uncertainty on their end. And this is what basically um, is a big obstacle in this relationship. That makes a big role. Yeah. Let me see. This is really good. Okay, so you're willing to sacrifice here, Taurus. You got a knight of, knight of wands, temperance, and a ten of cups. For you, of course, like you do anything for love. I'll do anything for you. Yeah, knight of wands with a temperance. You know, reconcile, work it, basically. Mm -hmm. From what I'm seeing here with the ten of cups, like very special connection with the ten of cups. You have the ten of cups, you have the ten of pentacles, which only means like... Love comes from you, but the security comes from them, meaning they would have the final say here if they want to materialize the connection. And I am a material girl. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So this is good because this is your soulmate connection, temperance with the Ten of Cups that you have been waiting for, right? Ace of the Ten of Cups halfway there, but Ace of the King of Cups is your, you're going to get it. Uh -huh. We're going to get it, Taurus. We're going to get it. Okay, I'm going to see what else is in your chart that's giving you this. Oh, Jupiter in the 11th house, your dreams, desires. What have you been praying for? I say a little pray for you. Yeah, you can get it if you want to manifest it, Taurus. Knight of Swords and the Devil, your person, is coming in with a communication. Harsh, though. A little bit mean with the Knight of Swords and the Devil. Someone here um, with the knight and the devil over here, like they will come to you pretty, pretty strong, no pun intended, okay? Like expressing something about anger, frustration. I feel like your person makes a whole lot of drama. 
like they're they're in the final stage of refusing this before like they don't want to admit how much basically like they want this connection but with the devil and then the the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles like this is someone who's basically strongly attached to you and to the connection okay now both of you though both of you like this is two people desiring each other desiring each other. you're more on the i'm welcoming them back in my life good i'm welcoming them in my life good they're in the i want you in my life but i want to cause some issue five of swords i want to cause some excuses five of wands you know but i do wish you know nine of cups with a ten of cups is here meaning your person's like well i wish like we're together they're wishing that they're the nine of cups you're the completion basically for them but there's this message knight of swords that is coming to you really really fast about what they want from you because the knight of swords with the devil is here